Today we are collaborating with Annie Sloan and we're going to show you how to turn a $3 thrift store find into a beautiful new piece using Annie Sloan chalk paint and their new pearlescent glaze. Hi and welcome back everyone. So this jewelry box was picked up at our local thrift store and we grabbed it for only $3. And it does have a few dings here and there but it's not in too bad of shape. It's going to be perfect for this project. So first I'll take the sticker off. And one trick to get off stickers, if it's a little bit stubborn, is to use your heat gun. And then just melt the glue a little bit and it will usually come right off. Next, I'll sand the deeper marks and scratches a bit with 180 grit sandpaper. And then I'm going to clean it off with just a little bit of soap and water and then switch to a higher grit of sandpaper and then give the whole piece a light sanding. And by the way, when you're working on pieces like this, you might want to wear an N95 mask because you just don't know what's on these things and there could be lead paint or varnish or just something else that you don't want in your lungs. And I'll leave the link to the mask that we use here in the description. Now that this is all cleaned up, I'm going to give this jewelry box three light coats of old white chalk paint and I'm gonna let it dry for at least two or three hours in between coats. The inside of this jewelry box was totally clean, so I'm not gonna be doing anything with that at this time, but maybe in the future we might make a video on how to line a box with fabric. Let us know in the comments if that's something that you might wanna see. Okay, and that's the first coat, and now that can dry. And if you're also wondering about the brush that I'm using here, well, it's actually a makeup brush. And if you've never used makeup brushes for applying chalk paint, then you might like them a lot. They're super soft and you can feather out the paint really well, so they're really great for when you don't want to have any brush marks. And these little knobs aren't removable, so I'm just gonna go around them as best I can, and I'm gonna distress them a little bit later. And this brush here that I'm using is from the Annie Sloan Brush Pack, and it comes with several detailing brushes, and they're really great for these kinds of projects. And you can just get right into these little spots. And now the third and final coat. Next, I'm going to give the top a coat of the pearlescent glaze and this is going to reflect the light beautifully. There's many ways you can use this glaze. You can use it on its own or you can mix it right into any Annie Sloan chalk paint color and that's gonna add a pearl finish to your piece. It's really pretty. Next, I'm going in with Paris Grey and I'll go ahead and paint the bottom of the jewelry box. So now I'll have the lightest color on the top and the darkest. So now I can determine how light I need to go with the next two colors, which is going to give the subtle ombre effect.
And I'll go ahead and mix the Old White and Paris Gray to get the next shade. And this shade's going to be slightly lighter than the Paris Gray, and this will go onto the bottom drawer. Now I'll mix a shade that's a little bit lighter again, and that's going to go on the top drawer. And I let this dry for about three hours before going over the whole piece again in the pearlescent glaze. And that's going to be the final coating. If you're using the glaze, you're not going to need any wax for this. After it's completely dry, I'll just take some of this paint off the knobs to distress them a bit to match. And here is the final piece. That is so beautiful. We hope you enjoy this makeover, and you can head on over to our blog for more DIYs and ideas. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.